Stealing Pokemon to make the perfect team on this personalized roguelike adventure. Welcome to Pokemon Emerald Road, the ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald that turns it into a roguelike, sending you throughout the randomized routes leading it to a gym leader. And by the way, if your Pokemon faint, they're gone for good, which is important because this time I'm doing a battle at a crowd. All the routes are replaced with strong trainers, and to build up my team, I need to beat them up and steal one of their Pokemon. I start off with my randomized starter, and it's a Burmy. It only knows Protect. I go to fight a trainer, but I can't do anything. I didn't even make it to struggle. We just run it back. It's another Burmy! You already know how this is going, so I'm switching it up. And going for doubles this time. And now, my two starters are Smoochum and a Porygon. Not the best, but at least usable. And our first fight was against Team Aqua's Archie. He's got a Cramorant and a Choodle, but they were only level 5, so it wasn't too much of a challenge. We took the turtle, and afterwards faced Wally, who had a Ditto and a Gothia. I was pretty confident, because it's still early on, but he took out my Smoochum. We redeemed him, and replaced him with a Gothia. An unfortunate loss, but it was made up by Maxi, the Team Magma Menace. But his Torchic was in my sights, and I took it at all costs. A pretty put-together team, and we bring him over to our first gym leader the champion, Steven Stone. But with my Mr. Prince, his steals weren't all too spooky. Got a little close to the end, but we still got it. Our first badge. I can go down this route that takes me straight to the gym leader without battling anyone. But I choose to go down here because I see the casino in the distance. But before we get close, it's Team Aqua's Archie. Again, he didn't learn from last time. After our fight, my chicken grew up. Though it's really important, is that we can take his Piplup, the Happy Feet Mumble. And after that perfect pickup, we go straight to the casino. We've got two choices, left and right. One's good and one's bad. We went to the left and got $10,000. We stuck to it and I got robbed. My Porygon was stripped from my possession and replaced with a Mime Junior. I wasn't too worried. I'm not really a gone guy anyway. And in the end, we were all schlepped. Luckily, there was a market right before and I was able to awaken everyone else. But here at the market, we're met with a familiar face. The randomizer's here again. He's got an offer I can't refuse. $1,000 to trade one of my Pokemon or all all of them for free. The Mime Jr. isn't anything special, so we throw them out. And in return, got a Ladybug. Not too impressed with that either, so we just go straight to the gym. We walk up and face Drake, one of the Elite Four and the Dragon-type Demon. It's kind of lucky we're facing him early. With my Fire and Ice, Penguin and Chicken combo, he truly didn't even stand a chance, barely landing a scratch on us. And on these next routes, we see a Legendary. Like always, we've got to fight this trainer first. It's the Salon Maiden Annabelle. Master Roshi's turtle style was perfect against her. And from the choice of these two, we picked up the Mimikyu. Now, we're facing the Legendary. We get sent to the top of this mighty tower, reaching Rayquaza, the Keeper of the Skies. And luckily, Ron's disguise was perfect to fight him, taking his first shot and getting him all the way to Red Bar. Luckily, it was low level because we only had five Pokeballs. Eventually, the Rezaza was ours. The next route over was a battle prep rest stop, and his green-haired lady sells Mega Stones and Z Stones. We bought a Dragonium and Flytium Z, an investment for the future, but for now, our third gym, Roxanne. Had the Roshi and Ron star from the beginning. It was perfect because the first surf was tanked. The turtle style was good, until it wasn't. I didn't want any sacrifices, and Roxanne Sand didn't get any. And afterwards, a classic combo. A casino into a legendary. I actually like my team, and I don't want any trades, but we go for it anyway. Only losing a thousand dollars and paralyzing my whole team. I don't have any items to heal them up, so they'll have to deal with it. And now, we're at the legendary. We speak to the statue, and it says back, Articuno. We get him to red, but like I said before, we don't have that many balls. Unfortunately, I waste them all. Kind of a waste. But on this next market, the lady was selling a Blazikenite. It was all made okay, because Mr. Prince is about to be made king. We take him to the fourth gym, and it's Koga. Immediately, I charge up the mega stone and immediately after that i charge up my z stone and even with these two speed demons the lingering paralyzed is making me pretty slow eventually i had to switch out blazing for the penguin it was the edge i needed and koga was defeated and on the upcoming routes there's a chance for two legendaries in a row back to back bangers but before then it's maxi meeting us again he was burnt out i didn't even want to take his pokemon we left him with what he has just to think about it and afterwards made our way to another legendary it was a nagana del we wasted our last pokeball on it we didn't even catch it needless to say i ignored the second legendary I went to a market instead and bought more balls. Without a changed team, we get to the next leader. And it's Sydney, the dark type Elite Four from Hoenn. We had the Ron and Roshi start again, but Mimikyu was bullied out. Had to get the Fire and Ice combo back on the table to clear him out. But unfortunately, on his last Pokemon, Mumble was muted. We beat the leader, but at what cost? Saddened, we got to the routes. And immediately, we find a Pokemon lab. And here, Professor Perk provides us with some of our fallen Pokemon. Looks like our Ladybug from before grew up. But more importantly, Mumble is back. Wasn't gone for too long. The future's looking bright. And in front of us is a legendary. And it was the ice horse. Roshi whittled him down to literally 1 HP. And after a couple throws, catching him was pretty easy. And even though we just picked him back up, I decided that maybe it was better for Mumble to stay on the sideline. An upgrade from a penguin to a Mr. Beast horse. We take him to our 6th gym, and it's the Ice Queen Elite 4 Lorelli. Luckily, the prince's kicks aren't just flaming. He's got fighting types to pack down the snow. They didn't stand a chance. And after, another Maxi. I won't even waste my time. With his third loss, he's officially a certified scrub. We take it to the 7th gym. And lucky again for us, it's Faulkner, the flying 
type freeloader had more than enough ice to take him out. And earlier, I taught the grown up Gothi at Thunderbolt, so it was perfect for this. Or at least I thought. Unfortunately, his Haunch Crow one shot me. I had to get the rocks out from Roshi. And although we took one loss, that seemed to be enough. Another win for the boys. Nothing special on these next routes. Just trudging through a couple trainers. And the first was Pike Queen Lucy. They barely landed a couple hits on us. And afterwards, we had a choice of her muck or skunk. I thought the choice was obvious, and we got the goo. And right after was Wally. And again, his team was in too much trouble until he burnt out my Blaziken. A sad sight to see, but we stole the squid as retribution. A huge loss, but one that'll have to be dealt with because we're at our eighth gym. And it's the fighting type Brawly. Switch out John for Ron because he's got some fairy moves. And earlier, I gave him a Ferinium Z, so he was able to unleash his twinkle tackle. And the eighth gym was ours. It's time for the Elite Four. I rush it straight to the next fight. The first of the Elite Four, the ghost gym leader of Johto. We start off with a slow horse and the speed demon dragon, which was perfect because his ice wiped out his bird. Took out his sandcastle with my devastating trade. He was admittedly having some trouble taking out his Golurk. I switched into Roshi and that seemed to do the trick. He was immediately traded by this gorgeous, the master himself unfortunately taken out. But it was a loss that I'll have to live with because now I've taken home my first elite badge. There's no more trainers to fight, but there is this grassy patch, the home of a strong Pokemon. And unfortunately, it's just a big snake. We caught him anyways because there's nothing better. Take the snake to the second. And it's Wallace, the water type Pokemon champion. With no grass or electricity, we had a bit of a problem. Took out his wish cash, but he's traded for my snake. We had to whittle him down with Ron and Goober, but unfortunately, he was met with the same fate. I just barely scraped through without another loss. And the second elite badge, was ours. And luckily, another Pokemon lab. But unfortunately, it was just the snake and emo. We just got the go. I go to the market to buy some more heals. So we're met with the casino man one last time. He's so got the same offer. Thousand dollars for one or my whole team for free. My team's looking pretty good. I'm thinking of just switching out the squid. But I live life on the edge. And we did a full change. Now, my team is Stunfisk, Colossal, Metacham, Tyrunt, and this big old bubblegum head. I'm only upset for this Metacham. This Blaze Bomb kind of brings it back. But we don't have much time to dwell on it. We're about the third Elite Four. And for some reason, it's Annabelle. She's not a gym leader or an Elite Four member. And she pretty much proved her status. Facing me with four different Alcremies. And that might have been the freest Elite Four I've ever faced. We go straight to the fourth. But beforehand, a chance at a legendary. We walked up to the strong trainer. And it was Spencer. He's only got grass. So the Colossal is more than enough to take care of all of them. We stripped him from his executor. And moved on to the legendary. And it was a base form Hoopa. Not the strongest, but for sure worth a pickup. She knew it too. And was being extra stubborn. Taking out my Medicham and almost half my team. We kept switching out though and eventually she broke and the Boopo is ours. We face the fourth and final Elite Four member and it's the Fire Lord Flannery. I don't have any water type for this. Luckily, Colossal had some rocks so he made do with what he could. We couldn't defend the Bubblegum Warrior. Big loss in the base fawn. Had to be redeemed by Hoopa who did take out his Houndoom but the Volcanion returned with a big Hydro Pump to my mountain and unfortunately, the same fate was met with my Stun Fist and Tyrunt. We did eventually take out his Volcanion in the end, it was Boopa and Neck versus Talonflame and Entei. The Palm Tree and the Bird took each other out and luckily, my Boopa brought us to victory. All eight gym badges with all four elite badges, but only left with my single Boopa. We need to get someone else on our team, but first we have to take out the statue's guardian, his lone team Magma Grunt. We took out his Heatran, but unfortunately couldn't even make it past his second Pokemon. We lost, not even getting into the champion's eyesight. With all eight gym badges and all elite four badges, a pretty good battle addict run, but I have to redeem myself. But for now, that's it. Pokemon Emerald Rogue 18.